right, today we are doing math 11.3, found on page 661 through 664. This also has the midterm on it, mid books, so we want to be able to do that. On the first page, <clears throat> we're comparing the length, so this way, and the width. The reason I have this drawn here is first it's on your page on 661, but it also is telling us this is measuring the length. And we always want to start at the same spot. And then this line will measure the height. So if we take a pencil and a marker, and we check the length, set it against the same one, you can see the marker is shorter than the pencil, but the pencil is longer than the marker. We can check the length of our mouse and our alphabet cards. And when you look at them, they are almost the same. So we can say our alphabet cards and our mouse are the same length. Now, we can measure our height of the whiteboard cleaner and our hand sanitizer, which we're using a lot of right now. So if we put them on, Again, starting at the starting line on the hand sanitizer and the whiteboard cleaner, the hand sanitizer is taller than the whiteboard cleaner. The whiteboard cleaner is shorter than the hand sanitizer. Nice job. We can also do that with our pointer and our eraser. The pointer is definitely taller than the eraser. The eraser is shorter than the pointer. Nice job. Now, what you're gonna need to do is on 662, find two items. You're gonna measure their length against each other. And on 663, you're gonna measure the height of two objects. You can use the same two objects or you can use two different objects to measure the length and the height. Now we're on the last page for today. Remember, if you didn't have time to finish because I kind of rushed it through, that's okay because you can always stop and go back and finish those four, three pages and we'll do this one together, okay? Here we go. So we have mid-chapter checkpoint. Number one has a train of one, two, three, four, five, Six, six blue cubes. Thanks for counting with me. You need to make a train that is shorter than the blue one. Shorter, so think about shorter. Make it shorter than the blue one. Number two, circle the crayons that are about the same length. So on number two, you have three crayons. Two of them are about the same length. Circle the two that are about the same length. Number three, you have two red crayons. One is taller, one is shorter. Circle the crayon that is shorter than the other crayon. On number three, color the crayon that is shorter than the other crayon. All right, now we're gonna look at number four. Number four has four sets of pencils. Some of them are longer, some of them are shorter, some of them are the same length. They want you to look at the set of pencils and fill in the circle under the sets that are the same length. So look at all four. If the pencils are about the same length, fill in the circle. This one is worth four points. Parents, if you could let us know how many they got right, that would be great. That is it for today's math. Hope you have fun finding your length and heights. Bye-bye.